Pajamas as streetwear. Hmm, we investigate. I don't know. And celebrities shaving their heads. Would you do it? And what about adding a little makeup to a uh, place we don't want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to stick around at least for that one. Hey guys, uh, happy yeah. weekend. It's Trending Topics. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Yay. Welcome back to Holly Scoops Trending, Holly Scoops? Holly, Holly Scoops. Scoops, there we go, <laughs> Trending Topics. I'm Heather Gardner. And I'm Madison Hill. Clearly we are having weekend breaks. Oh, seriously here. It's okay. Which is why I may just never leave my pajamas ever I again. I always want weekend know. on the brain. Well, apparently you might be trendy and really fashionable if you do that. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like we've talked about this at some point, but it was like starting to be a trend, and now yes. it's a full-blown celebrity obsession. Oh, no, and when Whenever you go into any store, oh, I feel yeah. like you see these types of pieces. Yeah, it's basically pajamas as regular clothing. Yes, yeah. And it's like, there's a few different ways to do it. I feel like a lot of people have done like the the matching like pants mm -hmm, yeah. and tops. Like Gigi has done it before. Right, kind of like what you used to wear when you were little mm -hmm. with like the button down, the collar, the piping. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that's one trend. But a lot of things we're seeing on celebrities is the sexy like little slip dress. Which I am actually for the slip dress. Are you? I, well you have to be careful I feel like and decide, like really be strategic on which one because then they can look a little too pajama-y. But I think if you pick the right slip dress like it's pretty sexy. I don't think it's very sexy at oh, all. Oh really? I just I feel think like it is. I just feel like a slip dress is like gives you no shape, especially like I mean on models it looks amazing because everything right. looks amazing on models. But like right. for a girl like me who basically has no boobs, <laughs> a big butt, and then you're like I look like I rolled out of bed, but not in a good way. No, okay. First of all, I have a similar body type. Okay. Obviously, obviously <laughs> you can see. But I think it's all about choosing the right one. Okay. Because I do have one. It's from Brandy Melville. It wasn't very expensive, okay. and um, it's pretty cute. Yeah, well, Selena's I've done this. It. Yeah, Selena's done this. I don't look this. as Carly. good as Selena, Gigi, or Carly Kloss, but Kendall. <laughs> I mean, all of these girls are rocking it. I just don't know if I'm on board. Yeah. I mean, I am still on the yoga, like as yoga oh, pants as regular athleisure, pants. Athleisure. I'm all for athleisure. Uh, yeah, that's about as far as I'll get. Like, yeah. go to the store. You're never gonna see me in jeans. You'd be lucky if I wear a bra <laughs> if I go to the store. But it's gonna be like a heavier t-shirt right. and yeah. some yoga pants. I think I'm for the slip dress part of this trend, but I. I am not for like the literal pajama top bottom. Well, part of we the better trend. get on board with it because yeah. it is taking over Clearly. the world. Yes. Um, okay, so last week, you and I got off on this crazy tangent about talking about not shaving your armpit oh, yeah. and then dyeing oh, yeah. your armpit I'm, hair. I'm not for that. Obviously. Well, apparently now celebrities are freeing their hair under their arms but they are getting rid of the hair <laughs> on their heads. It's just I a have an very opposite strange. of what you think you should be shaving, but okay. whatever. So um, we've seen this on Katy Perry, Kristen yes. Stewart, um, Cara Delevingne, they've all rocked this like super bleach blonde shaved yeah. hair. It's very edgy, extremely edgy. Very but edgy. But someone who I just never thought would do this did it this weekend and now I'm just like, I don't know that I'd I go was, as far I as to say I would do it, but right. I'm intrigued. Yeah, so Kate Hudson is the newest female to join the Shaved Head Club, and I was also surprised yeah, by that. Yeah, very surprised. She's always one of the celebrities I love to see on the red carpets because she just always looks so flawless. Mm -hmm. Not that she doesn't with a shaved head, it just surprised me a little because bit. Because she's always like super Hollywood glam, and of course right. when you do a Hollywood glam red carpet style, you've got to get the hair with the right. curls. And, Absolutely. You know, and that is always her style. Mm -hmm. um, but she is always, she's big into fashion, she's big into trends. Yes. Um, I do think that she shaved her head specifically for a film that she's right. in the middle of right but now. But obviously she, I mean, that can be simulated. So she really took the plunge and did it. I, yeah. I'm a little surprised. It's interesting though. Um, to do it for a project is one thing to do it in your like daily life. Right. Which um, is like more Katie. like Katie, Cara Delvey. Mm -hmm. They actually just like did it for themselves. You know what? Hair has always been super, super important to me. As you guys know, I've always had very long hair. Yes. And, and you I recently, recently. And like I will say, I will say, I was telling my husband yesterday because it's been, this is the shortest my hair has she ever been. She joined the short hair. Club. I did. I li sh we. We did little tutorials because she had to help me out. <laughs> no, but I will say, I told my husband, I said, I will never go back to long hair because yeah. I just like the freedom. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine the freedom of, can you imagine like waking up and being like, like literally not having to comb your hair? That would be amazing. Literally not having to pick up a brush or any product but or anything. But I will anything. say, that being said, I do not have the guts to shave my I head. So, so I am all for women who are empowered and who can do this. Kate Hudson, Katie, Good Kara, for you. you girls keep living that best life because <laughs> 
I don't have the guts to do it. I will fully admit it. I'm gonna try like a trend I can take off, like a new pair of shoes. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this trend. Oh, so you, you're not gonna try this trend? You brought this up. Okay, so I and brought this I up. Just because I don't up. know what this says about my cookies or whatever is happening on the internet. However, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram tap into what you're actually thinking about. Uh -huh. um, but I have been seeing this over and over and over, and I've seen many articles about it. Oh, um, it is a Scandinavian or Swedish company? I don't I know, it's Swedish. something, Swedish. Um, and it is about highlighting your lady business. And it's called the perfect V. And I just <laughs> literally, when I saw this, I was like, I don't even know how to highlight my face correctly. And now I'm supposed to be highlighting down there to make it more desirable. I just don't even know. Would there, you do it? There are, there are many, <laughs> I have so many thoughts like through my head right now. Like, first of all, it's it's just my I mean, I mean, I'm 2017 feel, coming in hot. I feel like, let's just be, let's just be real blunt here, okay? Oh God. One person sees my lady bits, okay? Right. Just one, I'm married. And I feel like for a lot of people, only a few people. Like if you're so worried about everybody <laughs> seeing your V, maybe you should check your life. Well, and okay? the men in the office, when we brought this up, their comments were, if you feel like you need to highlight that, maybe there's a bigger problem. <laughs> I thought was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we've seen we've there's seen a lot of trends that revolve that exactly. Yes. Like we've seen the bedazzling yeah. of the vagina, yes. and we've seen people, you know, um, Gwyneth, pierce yeah. it. Uh, we've also had Gwyneth Paltrow who likes to have hers. Steamed. Yeah, she has. She's very on the forefront of a lot of trends. For but that you know, when area. I started when I started thinking about trends in, in that area, and this goes back to the shaving business. <laughs> um, you know, once upon a time, people didn't shave That's true. down there. That's true. Or and getting waxed. Exactly. Certain exactly. patterns. So it, maybe this is just the latest because I didn't know what a highlighter for your face was until last year know. anyway. That's true. Six months from now, we're gonna be like, oh my god, we love highlighting down there. Our it's vagina. amazing. <laughs> Just, I guess. Oh, seriously. Well, you'll have to stay tuned and see. <laughs> what are you God, promising? Not see, but I'm just saying. What are we, you promising? Okay, sorry, as soon as that came out. So apparently when we I hit 500,000, yeah. Madison is going to show <laughs> No, not happening, not happening. All right, guys. We're having too much fun on this Sunday. That's a problem. <laughs> Do let us know what you think about the uh, lady business highlighting. Shaving heads, is it something you've even like thought about doing ever? Hair is big for women, I know yes. that. And then pajamas as outerwear. Guys, like, is it something that you guys have done trying to look all sexy in your sexy pajamas? <laughs> Because usually for me, it's like mismatched shorts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's nothing sexy about that. Okay, guys, <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, subscribe to our channel for what you may or may not see when we hit 5,000. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.